Okay, so today is day 21 car organization and I'm gonna show you guys how I organize in my car and things that I utilize in my car. So if you wanna see what's in my car, then keep on watching. Okay guys, so I'm in the driver's seat and on my side of the door, I have this large compartment and it's divided into two spots. On this first side, I have this container that I got at the Dollar Tree, of course. Um, I have a, I had several of these, so I thought I would use this one for a little trash bin for like straw trash, receipt trash, just candy wrappers, just small trash to, trash to put in there and I'll see how that goes. I usually, um, just had it like that and I would put trash in there but I thought since I had extra of these that I would use that as a trash bin and it fits perfectly. So over here I just have some sun visors and then a pair of um, gloves for myself. So that's what's on my door side. Okay so above me on my visor I have a little snowman from Bath and Body Works and the scent in here is cranberry frosted. Um, he's just really cute. I'm gonna have to change it out because the scent in here is already dying. And then I have two compartments here for sunglasses. I usually use this for the, um, the kids or the husband because um, you guys know I wear transitionals, so I don't really have sunglasses. So that's what's above me. Under the uh, radio and AC, in this little compartment down here, I just have some pencils, pens, and then a Sharpie in case I need it. And then there is, um, a notepad under there as well okay so right here in the middle console on the side of me I have two lower um, small compartments and they're divided and in the first section here I just put my lotion um, and then in the second part I put the retractable hairbrush okay so moving over here to the middle side where um, the armrest is I have this smaller deep compartment and this is the section where we're always grabbing for chapstick, gum, um, car charger, and um, I decided to use these Dollar Tree that I hauled for you guys and they just per they just fit so perfectly in here. So in this first bin I put some lens cleaner, I put two chapsticks in here, one of them um, has the label off so the husband knows um, which one's mine and which one's his. And then I have um, some gum and mints in that one. And then the second one, I have the um, car chargers in here um, that I'm able to place on either side for us. And then I have this is for my phone as well. And then this is just a little um, organizing tool that I think I got at the container store like a long time ago. I have that in there. And then I have the retractable headphones that I got the Dollar Tree. And I'm having like the hardest time using these. Like, you know when you go to mess with your blinds and you can't like open them or close them or something like that? I'm having the hard time with these headphones. It's kind of the same thing. So you guys let me know um, what you think about these um, Dollar Tree retractable headphones. Maybe there's a special technique to use them and I just don't know how to use them. Okay, so moving on over here is a larger um, compartment. And on top of here is where I keep my phone. It has like a nice grip. So when I open it up, um, this is where I keep my first aid kit and other things. So this is my first aid kit. It's a really nice sturdy case. I got it at Target. Um, also, I have a pair of scissors in there. Um, I have the lint roller um, that I got from the Dollar Tree. I have a flashlight there that we already had on hand. Um, I have this cosmetic clear zipper pouch that I keep extra electronic charging devices. I have three in here and they all have like these twisty ties on them that I reuse. Um, they're all different colors and one of them's for Ivy's DS. The other one is for... Um, to plug into the radio like if we want to stream something from Pandora on our phone and then I think one is for hubby's um, phone so I keep that in there and I like that it's clear so I can see everything and then I just keep this Ziploc bag in here for snacks and right now I just have some crackers and then that extra pack of gum and then I also keep in here um, bathroom cotton out wipes because you never know when you need those <laughs> So everything just fits really nicely in here and I absolutely love this compartment. So I can just 
stick everything right back in there, no problem. So that's what I keep in there. Moving on over here, there's my purse. Um, on that side door, I really don't keep anything on that side. I try to keep my car as clean as possible. Um, and then there's my shopping bag that I always take with me. I absolutely love that bag. Like I use it for like everything. And then over here in the glove compartment, um, I put those car wipes that I hauled in my Dollar Tree. And then I put the cleaning tool for my car in here as well. I highly would recommend getting one of these. I'm actually going to get another one to dust like keyboards and electronic stuff at home. So definitely recommend that. And then here is also the tablet sleeve that I hauled. In here I just put the car manual in here and registration and everything just fits really nicely in there and it's very flexible. And then also I have a um, another one of these coupon envelopes. Um, I absolutely love these things. This one actually I keep the kids um, church money in here like when they do Bible study or just participate um, in church service they get um, like church bucks and then they're able to use it for the little store that they have so that's what I use um, or that's what I put in here so that way we have it in the car and we don't forget about it so everything just sits really nicely in here so that's what I keep in the glove compartment. Now I'm going to show you the back seat of so the car. On this side of the back seat door, um, I put. We also have like another large um, spot to put things in here. I just put kids' um, educational books for them to do, and then I have like word search, and then um, more um, school workshop books. So that's what I put on this side of the door for the kids. And then over here in front of me is this hanging stroller organization. This is actually a 31 item. Um, I absolutely love this thing. But since my kids no longer are in strollers, I decided to use it for the back seat of my car. Um, you can just easily um, adjust it and you just snap it on. It's, it's really easy. And it has three compartments in the front, two mesh side compartments. And then this side it has like a... Um, easy clean wipeable pocket with a nice zipper that goes all the way around. On here I've clipped sunglasses, um, I have clipped extra sanitizer, on this front pocket I have extra sanitizer and then some um, antibacterial wipes. And then in this um, pocket here I think I have chapstick, yeah I have it opened up a little bit so she's able to get in there. Um, so I have some chapstick in here. This is actually one of the ones they got from Santa Claus in their stocking. So, and then on this side I have Kleenex and then some more sanitizer. And this pocket, it's just one large pocket. It's very deep as well. I have a uh, piggy uh, neck rest. I have boogie wipes. I have, um, I'm not gonna take everything out. Sorry about the sunlight. I have two umbrellas. Um, one is in one of those umbrella bags and then one is not and then I have a large Ziploc baggie that has extra winter accessories like um, head beanies gloves um, That sort of thing in there and then at the bottom at the very bottom is this little basketball shoe fresher so behind the um, Hanging organization tool that I have um, I decided to put those dish uh, mats on this seat and then um, those towels so that way I can reach behind them and use them and give them to the kids when their shoes are wet or if they spill something which usually the rule is um, with drinks they're only allowed to have water in the car so um, I put those there so I could easily um, get to those and then over here is the trash can that I hauled in the Dollar Tree haul um, it's just so nice I really really like it it's so small and just petite and it's just perfect. I absolutely love this thing. And then at the bottom, if you guys can see, I um, took that kitchen uh, self liner, or the little grip liners, and I just cut a piece and hot glued it to the bottom. And I just left it in a square because it kind of looks, I don't know, it looks good to me like that. I mean, you can um, cut the shape of the bottom out and hot glue it that way, but I just left it like that. So it would help to stay up a little more than just on itself 
So that's what I use those for. Okay, so on this side of the door, um, I just put um, library books for the kids. So basically that's all in this section is library books, public library books, <clears throat> or books that they have from the house. So that's what they keep on that side. And then above them, um, they just have more controls for the AC and the radio. And then we have like tons of upper compartments. Um, I think they're for portable DVD players. Um, but here's some of the girls' sunglasses. Um, they like to put them in there so they can reach them. But we don't really have a portable DVD player. They usually have the iPad. Um, so we don't really use that part. I might have to figure out what what else I can put in there. So we have like three of them. It's so weird. So I have two sunglasses in the front compartments and then I have these big three larger ones and then I have this huge one in the back. So yeah. I, don't, I guess those would be good for road trips and put like card games and something in there. I'm not really sure but I, I wouldn't want it to like you know something heavy in there and it just fall on one of the kids heads or something. I don't know. So that's what's up there. Now I'm gonna show you guys the trunk. So this is the view of the back of my trunk. And right now we have the back seats down so you're able to um, have more passengers in the back if I needed to. And so in the back I just have extra mats for the floor and then I have a booster car seat and then I have one basketball um, and then I have this mesh laundry hamper but I actually use it to store um, an extra neck rest and then two blankets so that's what I put in there and then on this side I keep a um, 31 bag and I put all my reusable bags in there and then over here is extra of that liner uh, also what I thought about using this for is, is that I'm going to show you guys the length of it so it's it's like kind of like a table runner length. Um, I decided that I was going to use this just as a grip. Like when I'm doing groceries or anything, I'm going to set on here so that it grips a little bit. I haven't really tested it out yet, but we'll see how that goes. But that's basically what I got this for. Um, and then I bought these in a mechanic smell. So what I originally had planned for these was to wrap them around my blankets so it's just easily secures them and then I can just if we guys if we take them out you know to the park or something you know I can just hold it by the the cord but they're just really strong in smell right now and uh, I'm gonna let them air out and see how that works so but that's what I had those in mind for and then on this side um, is a small compartment that I put um, extra cleaning wipes which I had no idea we had this so I have like extra car wipes so that's what I have in there and it has like this weird bendy I don't know it's kind of weird to get into okay so I pulled the mini tablet sleeve out of there so in here I just put the uh, basketball pump in here I think you can use this for a tire as well so that's what I put in here um, the mini flashlight, I went ahead and put it in my purse because I didn't know that also hubby put a flashlight back in there. Um, so I just left that one in there. It's just a larger flashlight. So that's what's in there. So yeah, that is my car organization for the hashtag happily organized 2015 challenge. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys also um, get inspired. As always, thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.